If you answer yes to the following questions, it's a sign your immune system could need support. Do you catch colds easily? Do you get more than two colds per year? Are you suffering from chronic infection? Do you get frequent cold sores or have genital herpes? Are your lymph glands sore and swollen at times? Do you have now or ever had cancer? Recurrent or chronic infections, even very mild colds, only occur when the immune system is weakened. Under such circumstances, there's a repetitive cycle that makes it difficult to overcome the tendency toward infection. A weakened immune system leads to infection. Infection causes damage to the immune system, which further weakens resistance. Enhancing the immune system can provide the answer to breaking the cycle. The health of the immune system is greatly impacted by a person's emotional state, level of stress, lifestyle, dietary habits and nutritional status. Nutrient deficiency is the most frequent cause of a depressed immune system. An overwhelming number of clinical and experimental studies indicate any single nutrient deficiency can profoundly impair the immune system. The optimal immune function requires a healthy diet that's rich in whole natural foods like fruit, vegetables, whole grains, beans, seeds and nuts. Low in fats and refined sugars and contains adequate but not excessive amount of protein. On top of this, for the optimal immune function, an individual should drink five or six eight ounce glasses of water per day. Take a high potency multivitamin. Engage in regular exercise of at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise, five to 10 minutes of passive stretching and perform daily breathing exercises and relaxation exercises. One of the more damaging food components to the immune system is sugar. In one study, the ingestion of 100 grams, roughly three and a half ounces of carbohydrate as glucose, fructose, sucrose, honey, and pasteurized orange juice, all significantly reduce the ability of the white blood cells to engulf and destroy bacteria. In contrast, an ingestion of 100 grams of starch had no effect. These effects started within less than 30 minutes after ingestion and lasted for over five hours. Typically, there was at least a 50% reduction in neutrophil activity two hours after the ingestion. Since neutrophils constitute 60 to 70% of the total circulating white blood cells, impairment of their activity leads to depressed immunity. Some of the most important food components to enhance the immune function are the carotenes. Many of the immune enhancing effects of the carotenes, as well as other antioxidants, are due to their ability to protect the thymus gland from damage. The thymus is the major gland of our immune system. It's composed of two soft, pinkish grey lobes lying in a bib-like fashion just below the thyroid gland and above the heart. The thymus gland shows maximum development immediately after birth. During the aging process, the thymus gland undergoes a process of shrinkage or involution. The reason for this involution is the thymus gland is extremely susceptible to free radical and oxidative damage that's caused by stress, drugs, radiation, infection and chronic illness. When the thymus gland becomes damaged, its ability to control the immune system is severely compromised. The thymus is responsible for many immune system functions, including the production of T lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell. The thymus gland also releases several hormones, such as thymosin, thymopoietin, and serum thymic factor. These regulate many immune functions. Low levels of these hormones in the blood are associated with depressed immunity and an increased susceptibility to infection. Typically, thymic hormone levels will be very low in the elderly. Individuals prone to infection, cancer and AIDS patients, and when an individual is exposed to undue stress. The carotenes and other antioxidants can ensure optimal thymus gland activity by preventing damage to the thymus by the free radicals and the pro-oxidants. 
Beyond protecting the thymus gland, carotenes have been shown to enhance the function of several types of white blood cells, as well as to increase the antiviral and anti-cancer properties of our own immune system mediators, such as interferon. Simply stated, carotene-rich foods and drinks appear to boost immunity. Foods that are high in carotene include coloured vegetables like dark greens, yellow and orange squash, carrots, yams and sweet potatoes, red peppers and tomatoes. Also important for proper immune function, including protecting against cancer, is the inclusion of the cabbage family, which is broccoli, brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, collards, kale, greens, radish, turnip, and flavonoid-rich berries, garlic and Jerusalem artichoke. Yogurt has the ability to boost immune function, particularly when it's made with large amounts, billions per serving, of Bifidobacterium lactis. Consuming yogurt with Bifidobacterium lactis increases the proportion of total helper and activated T lymphocytes and natural killer cells. Other effects include an increase in immune cells' ability to phagocytize or engulf and destroy the invaders, as well as the tumour cell killing ability of their natural killer cells. There's three products that are critical to supporting good immune function. A high potency multivitamin and mineral formula. Vitamin D3 at 2000 to 5000 international units per day. And an EPA DHA fish oil blend at 1 to 3 grams per day. A high potency multivitamin and mineral formula is the first step for supporting the immune system as it will address any underlying nutritional deficiency. Deficiencies of virtually any nutrient can result in significantly impaired immune function, but especially deficiencies of vitamin C, E, A, B6, B12 and folic acid. Minerals that are especially important are zinc, iron and selenium. In addition to a multivitamin, some specific nutrients are helpful for boosting immune function vitamin C, vitamin E and vitamin A. Vitamin D3 is especially critical to the immune system's health. Individuals who have vitamin D blood levels lower than 38 nanograms per milliliter had twice as many upper respiratory tract infections as those with higher levels. Clinical studies have validated vitamin D's ability to reduce the risk of colds and flus. Echinacea has been shown to exert significant effects on the immune function in over 300 scientific investigations. Not all of the clinical studies have been positive. Mixed results from clinical studies with echinacea are most likely due to the lack or the insufficient quantity and quality of the active compounds. Astragalus root is a traditional Chinese medicine used to treat viral infections including the common cold. Clinical studies in China have shown it to be effective when used as a preventative measure against the common cold. It's also been shown to reduce the duration and the severity of symptoms in the acute treatment of the common cold, as well as to raise white blood cell counts. Research in animals indicates astragalus apparently works by stimulating several factors of the immune system. In particular, it appears to stimulate the white blood cells to engulf and destroy invading organisms and cellular debris, as well as to enhance the production of interferon, a key natural compound produced by the body to fight viruses. Wellmune is the name of a special beta-glucan preparation made from baker's yeast, and this has been shown to be effective in several double-blind studies for boosting immunity in preventing colds and flus. The subjects were treated daily with 500 milligrams of the Wellmune, or a placebo, for three months. In one of these studies, the group reported, there was no missed work or school due to colds compared to 1.38 days of work or school missed from the placebo group. There was no incidence of fever compared with a 3.5 incidence in the placebo group, and there was an increase in the quality of life, including physical energy and emotional well-being, as measured by clinically validated health survey questionnaire. 
medicinal mushrooms like maitake, shiitake, reishi and cordyceps possess significant immune-enhancing effects. Much of this activity is also due to the presence of beta-glucans. Numerous experimental and clinical studies have shown the mushroom's beta-glucan content activates the white blood cells. Probiotics refer to health-promoting bacteria products containing species like lactobacilli and bifidobacter. The preparations can be valuable aids for boosting immunity. You can also find many probiotic foods. Our mood and our attitude has a tremendous effect on the function of the immune system. The bottom line is, when you're happy and optimistic, our immune system functions better. Conversely, when you're depressed, your immune system tends to also be depressed. When a person is under more stress or depressed, they need to make a conscious effort to boost their immune function. This can include taking their supplements. It's not only the major life stresses that can cause depressed immune function, but the more significant the stressor, the greater the impact on the immune system. Negative emotions suppress immune function, while positive emotions enhance immune function. The bottom line, if you want to have a healthy immune system, you need to laugh often. You'll know that you've boosted your immune system when you start having fewer colds and viral infections, shorter bouts of infections, and better overall resistance to infections. To book a consultation, or to learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.